Hey Buzzheads, Curtis Tucker here with Ian and Buzz uh, here in the studio. I am here with Champ Thompson. And can I call you Lily or do I have to call you Champ? Either Lily or Champ, whatever you okay, prefer. Okay, no, Lily? Yes, sir. Lily. Okay, great. So um, Globetrotters are coming to Ian at Oklahoma next week. And so Champ is here doing a little promo and she dropped by the studio. So first thing I want to ask you, I saw on your bio, grew up in Hawaii. Yes, I spent quite a bit of time in Hawaii from about third grade to ninth grade. Both of my parents retired from the army. And so we spend a lot of time moving around on military bases. Nice. So Texas, Hawaii. So how? So what's it like growing up in Hawaii? Did you There's surf? Did you fun. surf much? Uh, boogie board. Boogie board. Okay. <laughs> Body board. You know, I never stood up, but oh, really? you know, going to the beach, enjoying the ocean, just enjoying the weather for sure. But it was a great time. Well, great. Uh, so went on, went to college, played Notre Dame. I played Stanford, Stanford first. Yeah. And Dame. after graduation, I had one more year of eligibility. So I went to Notre Dame last season where we won the national championship, nice. and that's how I got the nickname. Nice. Any rings, anything? I like? have it, just not just, on just me. Just not on you because you're representing Globetrotters right now. Well, it's heavy. Oh, oh really? <laughs> okay. Well, very cool. Okay, so uh, you graduate college, and you've got a degree. So yes. kind of tell everybody your degree real quick because I read it, and I wasn't quite sure what it meant. Sure, yeah, me neither. When I read <laughs> it for the first time as well. Um, at Stanford, it's a degree program called Innovation and Organizations, which is basically like business theory, kind of trying to understand how businesses work, what makes them successful or not successful. And then at Notre Dame, I did business management, which was, I guess, the other side of that, the accounting, the statistics, and all that good stuff. Nice. So I, I could use your help. <laughs> so I need lots of help with my businesses. You've job. got a great store out well, there. Well, thanks. I mean, I, I've got my hand into like, you know, this is our podcasting studio, and then I've got the Enid Buzz and then the store, but I just have no organization. I don't know where to take it. So after this, after this segment, we'll uh, hop over and see what we can okay, do. Okay. <laughs> sounds good. Okay. So college, you get out of college. Were you headed to uh, WNBA or, or were you headed for a job? I mean, So right after the Final Four, I'm kind of gearing up for graduation, not 100% sure what the next step is going to be. And the Globetrotters had their annual draft. I got the call that they drafted me as one of five players, wow. the only woman in the draft. Wow. And after talking with them and kind of understanding what the opportunity would be like, I was like, hey, I'm all in. Oh, man. So kind of explain. I don't, I'm don't. i not quite sure I understand it. So I didn't know that Globetrotters had a draft. Yes. Is it the same time as the NBA draft or completely different? Or how, how does that yeah, work? Yeah, it's different. Um, everyone's path to, path to the Globetrotters is different. We have some people who are recruited from professional dunking or straight out of college or you know, a multitude of different places. And it just so happens that a small group of us, maybe five or six every year, are drafted to the team. Um, one of my draftee classmates is Sweet Lou Dunbar's son. Sweet Lou is a Globetrotter legend. He's yeah, a coach now. Yeah. And his son, Sweet Lou, too, um, is one nice. of the guys in our draft class as well. Okay, so very cool. I had a question, and it just, it just left me. So you get drafted, um, decide to go to the Globetrotter. Now, real quick, uh, nicknames. Do you guys, are your nicknames given to you or do you guys get to choose? Nicknames are given to you and it's kind of, you know, a rite of passage, so to speak, to have the Globetrotter veterans and legends give you your nickname. And for me, it kind of just worked out after winning that national championship. Yeah, Everyone nice. was calling me champ anyway and it stuck. Oh, nice. Okay. And then I've watched some of your videos. Uh, you've got a great, uh, what I think I was on your Twitter account, maybe. It's some great video. You guys ought to see. You played, you uh, did a horse with another guy, last name yes, Thompson. Yes, Tommy Thompson Tommy from Thompson. Uh, Professional Soccer. The dude was making baskets half court with his feet. Yes, you guys, he have, was, to, he was you guys awesome. have to check it out. Okay, but you were doing some moves. I, mean, I have the basketball skills. He has the soccer skills. We put them together. It was pretty fun. Okay, so let me ask you about your basketball skills. Did you have all those skills leaving college or do you like go through a globetrotter academy how do you guys learn all that stuff that you guys do that's a great question so in high school i actually realized you know i considered myself a pretty good basketball player uh -huh. and i realized i didn't know how to spin the ball on my finger and i'm like okay i feel kind of you know like fraud so uh -huh. i taught myself how to spin the ball on my finger in high school but it wasn't a globetrotter spin uh -huh. and so when i became a globetrotter we actually have a training camp every year and that's really where we go all day long working with the veterans, working with the coaches to learn things like the spin or different tricks. And, you know, we do that behind the scenes magic work. Wow. So, so there's a lot of time and effort put into what you guys do. We, we see you guys Absolutely. out there and it just looks like you guys are doing nothing. I mean, Absolutely. but the time, I mean, the timing and all that, you guys are jumping on trampolines and going upside down and 
Yeah, oh. some of the world class athletes, world class basketball players, and like you said, it looks effortless. It does. And that's part of the fun. That's part of the magic, and it's a uh, just like anything else. A lot of behind the scenes work. Yeah, well, very cool. So, and then so you guys are coming to the CMB Center here in town. I can tell you, I've been to several of uh, Globetrotter events, uh, especially in Enid. Probably the funnest family event I've ever been to. I mean. Don't think of it as a basketball event. So tell everybody kind of the entertainment, what you guys do, um, kind of what they're going to experience if they come and, and see you guys. Yes, I would say you can consider it the most entertaining basketball game or show you're ever going to see. And I got to see the Globetrotters when I was a kid, and so many people have great memories. This is our 2019 fan-powered world tour. So the staples of a Globetrotter game are there. But there's so much more that we've added into the show. Oh, nice. And there are tons of interaction between the fans, between the players coming onto the court, going up into the stands, as well as the fans being able to help us actually succeed and win during the game. Oh, cool. So from the youngest person in the audience to the oldest, everyone has a great time. Yeah, and I, I'm going to probably guess you, at some point during the show, somebody's going to get up and dance. You're going to get somebody out of the well, audience. I mean, it's a big party. Someone's <laughs> got to dance, right? We've got confetti. We've got a DJ. Yeah. It's, it's a great time. Okay, well, great. Uh, I don't want to talk specifically about this stuff. I will put the link to the times and where you can get tickets and all that, but they could go to Glo yeah, it's HarlemGlobetrotters.com. Okay. Nice and easy, and there's tickets, more information, and the game is Wednesday at 7 p.m. Okay, great. And then tell everybody how they can find you on social media and all that good stuff. Sure. So my social media is Lily underscore Thompson1. It's L-I-L-I. And that links to the Globetrotter page, to my own individual things, and all the Globetrotters. We love to post on social media about our travels, about the fun stuff we get to do, and now you can get some behind the scenes content there as well. Okay, great. Have you been to Oklahoma before? This is my first time. I got to I started in Oklahoma City, went to Tulsa, and now I'm here. But I've, I've loved it. It's been okay. great. Okay. Well, great. Well, we welcome you to Enid, Oklahoma. So you guys, get tickets. It's going to be a great event. And I get them quick because a lot of stuff in town has been selling out lately. And it, it will sell out. So you don't I miss go, this. I'd say get your tickets. And I hopefully I'll be there taking pictures. And I appreciate you coming by, Champ. And uh, we'll see you there at the CMB Center. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Yep. See you guys. Thank you. Very much.